Okay. So, I'm noticing people are backseating way too hard. So, new rule. Backseating is allowed, but wrong answers only for other games. Okay. Another Shattered World. Last I heard of this world is a thriving new colony. There's likely little here of interest. Don't be so hasty. Your gel circuits must need recalibrating. I see a message artifact and a tech artifact on the scanners. Yes, yes, you're correct. Not sure why I overlooked those. Perhaps I need to perform gel maintenance again. There also appears to be an odd anomaly in space. Subspace slip emitters appear to be floating between the asteroids and space seems warped there. Uh, what the? Okay. I have a few records of the creeper ever act- I have a few records of the creeper ever acting in this fashion. It's possible to warp space this way, but so far from a gravity well, it would require immense energy. The mass energy of entire stars would be required. I can only recommend that you stay clear of that area. With that much creeper collapsing into a small region of space, I'm not sure what the results might be. The tech artifact doesn't show any signatures of Tycon or other civilization we encountered. It appears to be rather mundane tech. The guppy tech. I've been hoping we would encounter this. Simple as the tech may be, it would prove useful across these asteroids. Guppies can find and contain packets for remote delivery. Ah, very clever. So we can use them to build structures remotely where a network can't reach. That'll allow us to build nullifiers on the small asteroids that have spore towers on them. Speaking of spore towers, my circuits are now operating properly and I've reviewed the scans. The wreckage of this world is littered with spore towers. You'll need to bring beam defenses online rapidly. Collect the guppy tech artifact and eliminate the spore threat as soon as possible. I've also managed to enable a few more tech upgrades in the forge. Use them to your advantage. Glad your circuits are working well again. Hope that whatever spatial anomalies are present in the system aren't affecting you. Okay, let's stop and what the hell is going on? Okay. This looks like a giant horror mess. I'm gonna have some energy problems, but hopefully they're not going to be as aggressive as some of the other ones are, so we'll see. Okay. So that's probably the guppy tech. That's real weird. So the biggest problem here is going to be wiping some of these out. All right, we needed beam defenses stat. Okay. Got the guppy. Land in remote locations for packet stuff. Got it. I'll do two of those. So these are... Sp oh! I gotcha. Okay. I'm gonna get one turn. Okay, that should work. Let's speed this up. Let's hope my beam turrets are good enough. This is going to be a problem. Is this level three? Cool. Well, that was insufficient. That was wildly insufficient. I needed way more beams than I got. Could I build the other one? No. Not there, at least. 
Maybe over here, but that would get screwed over because that's the only only one outputting. Alright, let's try that again. Yeah, so I need a lot of laser defenses. Okay. In retrospect, I probably should have worked on one of these at a time. That's okay. Okay, so now that I've got that, weapons. That'll have to do. It's gonna cost me a fair bit. But they'll be ready momentarily. Okay. Reactor, reactor. I'm going to need a lot of these. Let's give it some time. Okay. Cancel that a little bit. We're having trouble funding. I'm too much in an energy deficit, and it's bad. Yep, too much. I was hoping I could get a couple uh, more in there. Uh, let's see. How are you and Shell feeling tonight? No migraine? No migraine on my end, at least. Okay. Let's do a, another better, dumber idea. This time we need we need more time. That's my big issue. Okay. Because I'm thinking, what if I'm over here? Let's do that. Let's let's secure my energy dominance first. Cuz they're going to start hitting me hard and fast and I don't like I don't like the idea of that. So let's make these one at a time. Go very slow, very carefully. I think this is working better. We've definitely got sufficient turrets. Yeah. 
It's just a matter of giving them sufficient ammo. And not getting absolutely blasted. Okay. Let's see, we're gonna be doing Xenoblade tonight? Nah, Shell's having a bad day. Let's see. Kind of one of those where it's like, even two years later, it's real frustrating when people start hounding us about like, hey, what happened to all of your ex-friends? And it's like, uh... Like at this point, I feel like I should almost just make a video on it, purely just so people stop asking as much. Like, it's not fun. Like, I don't know. Was that already years ago? Yep, 2018. Like, it seems like so little time. Alright, I'm starting to get an energy surplus here. That's a good sign. You're still friends with Durf, though, right? Uh. -huh. We don't talk. It was kind of interesting, um, reading about, I don't know how many of you guys, uh, followed the drama with, uh, Cryotic, but he was talking about, he was, his friends were talking about how, uh, you know, they would just show up, that it was kind of effectively just a job, uh, for a lot of them, and that, like, the late night crew while everybody perceived them as a large group of friends, uh, they weren't really. Um, well, I thought that was kind of an interesting oddity and parallel. And so I, I think in the, the wake of that, I was definitely, I have been definitely, I think a little bit more standoffish. Uh, with potential friend groups. You know, I'll, I'll do stuff with the Wholesome Verse, and I think I'm, like, working towards actually being friends with people. Uh, but it was so interesting in the wake of all, all of that, you know, realizing that, like, yeah, maybe I wasn't actually good friends with any of these people. That we were all just kind of bound by convenience and circumstance, which I guess is how friendships work. Uh, to some lesser degree, but... So, like, yeah, in the aftermath, no, I actually have not talked with Durf in the slightest. I offered to play uh, Scrap Mechanic Survival with him, because I wasn't sure if he was going to be playing it with anybody. And he more or less was just like, eh, I don't know. And I was like, alright. Easy enough answer, I guess. Alright, there we go. Now we can get the guppy. So wish you could use the, uh, the turp to actually expand... And move things around. Let's see. go back to this. Let me clear this out. We're probably going to need... A beam turret or two. Out here just to keep this area set up. Versus is when you realize you haven't talked to with your friends in months and didn't even notice. It was perfectly fine. Like, that sucks. Yeah. I was... I guess kind of how it ended up uh, boiling down with... Uh, Durf and, like, one or two of the other guys, where it's, like, Durf had sent me a message, uh, after I'd moved to, uh, after I'd moved to Oregon, more or less saying, like, hey, uh, you want to do, uh, stuff together again, and I was like, yeah, 
That wouldn't be like a, a bad idea. Uh, but I didn't actually respond because I was really busy with just like life and other things. Uh. Hmm. I'd like to have something built there, but I guess I can't really do that, can I? Uh, sincere hope that I can actually plunk stuff there. Okay, let's uh let's get some more gaps up here. I was gonna get some planes, but I didn't. Um yeah, hopefully that's got the, the range that I need. Perfect. What a weird mission. Let's see. Everything else is good, though. Uh, but yeah, so he, he had asked, and I had just kind of procrastinated because I was lazy and tired and had a bunch of other things going on in my life. I think I was also really sick. Oh, and I think I went to PAX. Like, all kind of in the same general week period. And so it was kind of one of those where I was just like, eh, eh. Now, do we have a factory that I can... Upgrade, or is that something that I actually make now? Forge. That's a big thing. And so it's like, I feel bad for not being a better friend, but it was kind of one of those where it's like, I don't know, after a certain point, it's just easier to drop the rope and be like, eh, that shit sucked and I don't want to deal with it again. And so that's kind of what happened with me. Uh, he was in chat well, during Scrap and said hi. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. It's it's kind of one of those where it's like, it's friends, but it's like, it's not the same anymore. Which is, I, I think, the thing that I get stuck on. Now, I could loot out of that, but I don't know if I need to. Like, I could upgrade all of these things, but I think we've got this whole... whole thing under lockdown. Just pause for a second. Where's the... where are the other ones? Uh, let's see. Let's destroy that. I think I have to daisy chain this in a really dumb way. I've had that happen with a couple of people. Uh, a friend group in college who, you know, we would hang out daily. Like, all day long, all night long. And then one day, one of them just decided he was going to be a shithead, like, permanently to half of us. And effectively oust the others. And... I specifically said to myself, like, okay... I have I have more self-respect than to subject myself to this kind of behavior. So screw it, I guess I'm just gonna, you know, not try and be this guy's friend anymore because it's not worth it. Um, but some of the other people that were being, um... Is that not enough? Oh, that's enough. Okay. Uh, some of the other people that were being shunned, effectively, uh, were still trying to be his friend. And we're, like, actively going out of their way to do friend things with him. I don't think it was worth it. I ended up, uh, more or less dropping the rope on all of those friendships. Not necessarily because I just... It wasn't good, but it was just, like, after a certain point... A lot of the things that specifically, uh... Made us friends in the first place were either poisoned or just, like, not fun anymore. That sucks a little bit, because I should probably reach out. I mean, not during quarantine, because that's utterly futile.
Okay. Did we get everything except for this one set right here? Yeah, it looks like that's the case. Uh, is that... Anti-creep? I think so. Well, whatever. Let's just start shelling this one into oblivion. Yeah, unfortunately we're gonna have to shell that super hard. I'll have to wait for them on the next round. Return these to base. That didn't work. Oh, I got it. I didn't actually believe I got it there. But then I did. When Creeper gets over 2047 deep, it flops over to 2047 anti-Creeper. Interesting, so they actually destroyed themselves. That's neat. Are we... are we done? I need to connect to something, don't I? Oh, this. There's a key that I've got to... How the hell? Okay, destroy that. Pop a relay here. This is fascinating. This artifact contains an instruction manual for the guppy. Volumes of literature, art, and video from Old Earth. And a treatise from 14... 144th CE on the prospects of cyclical eternity. Not a collection of materials. Scan through it all, looking for anything unusual. Scanning message artifacts. Oh, what'd you find? A treatise on cyclical eternity was written during the time of Saloy, the sole civilization that ever contacted the Loki. The treatise proposes something that is most certainly impossible. The Saloi were prone to works of great imagination and often developed entire disciplines devoted to the study of theories they knew to be false. So this is likely one of their many fanciful creations. Be that as it may, indulge me with, the, with some details. The treatise proposes that our universe is but one of many, nothing new there. This idea dates back to the first CE. It goes to, on to argue that it is possible to create a device, something unique and singular to each universe. Unfortunately, the document stops after that, and no more details are available. Looks simply like the message was cut off. Any hints of where the rest of the message may be? Nothing. In all likelihood, this is a partial copy, and the rest of the treaties is lost forever. Okay, so I'm not going to be able to get it there. How the hell do I get the shield key? Relays can benefit from power circles. You know that makes perfect sense.
Yeah, it's got to be something in the forge, maybe. It's got a little bit of a charge. Opposite of over-engineering is needed. Oh. Of course. I forgot I have two of these. There we go. I, I don't know. It's easier to forget that I have those. <laughs> 